Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back today. Really appreciate it. So today's video is going to be a look using the new Marc Jacobs Beauty Holiday Collection. So if you do not know what it looks like, where is it all? Let me grab it all. So the new Holiday Collection. So they've got this big, compact, all over highlighter, bronzer stuff. Which I haven't used it yet, which I'm very excited about. They've got their new um, enamored lip gloss, which is like a gold vibe. And then the last thing which I'm most excited about are their new um, sequins eyeshadows, which are these like really intense glittery shadows, which I'm really excited about. So there's six of these and, and then the other two products. So the whole vibe for this collection is like very um, like shimmery and shiny and glamorous. I mean, all the packaging, it's all like it's got all the gold and everything. So it's really pretty. So for this look, I wanted to do something that was super highlighted and shimmer and just like very extra using all this new stuff so that's what we're gonna do today so yeah it's gonna be like glam which i know i just uploaded um a glam look a few days ago um but i'm kind of in the glam mood like i've been start i've been i found i've recently found a lot of instagram accounts that do glam like really well like like skin is just gorgeous and everything is just blended and it's like I don't know. It's gotten me in some sort of mood, so that's what we're doing today. I hope you guys don't mind, um, but it's going to be exciting. Um, so yeah, that's it. Let's get straight into it. So we're going to start with brow. So I'm going to do my eyes first, and then we're going to move down to foundation. So I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs Brow Wow in dark brown, and let's do these brows. Now I'm going to take some concealer, I'm going to just going to lightly carve them out and run some concealer over our eyelids so we can start this shadow. So I'm taking the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Concealer in Two Alive, all over the lid. And then we don't want like a precise line, well I don't because my brows don't really suit that. So I'm just sort of like lightly going to carve them out. Let's set them. So I'm just going to take my finish line perfecting coconut powder. Place this all over the lid so we can move on. Um, what am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh yeah, we're going to start. Let's start with our shadows. Okay. Alright, cool. So we're going to start with our shadows now. So I'm going to start with... Um, this is the Marc Jacobs Glam Glitter Eyeshadow Sequins in Copperazzi. This is the first one I showed you. Um, so it's like... Just a gold copper, really, really gorgeous color. Taking this on a Marc Jacobs crease brush. And we're basically just gonna go in and use just like a regular shadow. Straight in this crease here. Blend, 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 blend. Blend it out and up. We are, of course, gonna go in and clean this edge at the very end. But for now, this is our vibe. Okay, so I kind of want to keep that middle bit clear. So I want to keep that entire middle bit there free of any shadow. Just outside. Now, we have it on our outer corners. Now I want to bring this in here as well. Focus this right in there. And again, keeping that middle bit clear. We're gonna go in with this one. This is Glamethyst. Really pretty purple. Again, I'm basically just like dabbing it on. Just like that. And we're gonna go in right over the top and just darken this crease. This time we really wanna keep that um, gold underneath coming through. So we're not gonna go so crazy with this color. We just really wanna just darken this up and make it a little bit more like crazy. In here as well. I 
I'm just gonna take a tissue and just sort of get rid of a bit of excess on the brush so we can go in and just start blending those two together nicely without there being any extra stuff going on. Now at this point, you can go back in with your original, your first color, whichever color you kind of decide to do, and you can go over the edges and use this again to blend them together. That's always the most important part is making sure that your colors are nicely blended together. Now what else you can do with this stuff is you can take a spoolie. If you've gotten some that you kind of don't want it to be, just take a spoolie. And that is honestly the easiest way to clean up your edges because this is basically just like pressed pigment. So it kind of works the same as glitter wood. So you can go in with that and just sort of pull it back and it comes off super easy. So if you want that clean line there, that's how I would do that. So for this lid, this free area here that we've kind of created, I'm gonna go in with flashlight. So it's just a white highlight color. Packing that onto a flat brush, so I'm using the Marc Jacobs shadow brush. And start to place this in the middle and go all the way up. So now, as for like a little bit of an eyeliner, I don't want to go in with anything matte on this eye because I just think it's going to ruin it. So we're going to go in with this color. This is Glam Noir. So it's like a charcoal blue black color. It's really pretty. Going to take the Marc Jacobs smudge brush. It's a tiny little, tiny little brush. And we're going to focus this just on our lash line, tighten our lash line there. We don't want to create a wing or anything like that. We just want to darken it slightly. Okay, gorgeous. All right, that is it for that top lash. So let's move down to the bottom. Let's do some foundation. And then we'll come back and do the bottom and all that. Taking a makeup remover wipe. Getting rid of all this. Okay, now let's do a bit of primer to begin with before our foundation. Gonna go with our coconut primer. All over. Okay, so I'm contemplating whether to use Shameless Foundation or Remarkable Foundation. Shameless isn't as full coverage, but this is glam. Hello. So I think we need to do Remarkable. All right, so I'm gonna use um. The Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation, I'm going to take the colors 27 Bisque Neutral and 58 Deep Honey. I'm usually Bisque Neutral, but she's tan at the moment. Hello. So, um, we're going to darken her up a little bit. Now, if you have this, and this is the first time you're ever trying it, believe me, you do not need a lot. This is literally all you're going to need. Oh, I need some on my nose. That's okay. That's it. Okay. Now I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs face brush. And we're just going to start buffing that in. This stuff is like paint. You do not need a lot. So I'm just using this for like the big areas. And then I'm going to go with my sponge for those hard to reach areas so we don't mess it up. Bring it down the neck, always, to really get in there, all these areas here. Okay, gorgeous. Now back in with our um, concealer. Same concealer we used at the beginning. Straight underneath those eyes. 
on the nose, forehead, chin, around the nose. You guys know where to put this concealer, you get it. And then we're gonna go with a sponge. <clears throat> okay, we're actually gonna do a little bit of bronzer, so I'm gonna take the Remark Jacobs Remarkable Concealer in 7 Bright. Just the tiniest bit. Okay. Take my brush and use this to blend this out. Alright. Gorgeous. Let's set all this. Just my sponge. Straight under those eyes. To begin with. And then I'm going to take big brush just lightly pat that everywhere else now before we move on I'm going to take um, this is just the light filtering contour powder palette I'm going to take this side here just use this underneath the eyes to brighten up just a tinsy bit The Amiga bronzer and our big um, bronzing brush. And let's blend this face together. Right. Gorgeous. There's our face. So let's move down to the bottom now. So we're going to take our first color, our Copperazzi. This one. And our flat brush. These two together. Pack that on just a little bit. And let's start running this down the bottom. Take our fluffier brush here and just lightly blend out this edge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I've Got a tiny bit here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just gonna take my spoolie. Just very lightly pull that back and forth. Just to pull it up the tiniest bit. Alright, there is the eye. Alright, so lastly, I'm just gonna take our Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir mascara. Pack this on heavy, top and bottom. Close the eyes. That's really, really pretty. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with our, what is even this called? I have not used this yet. This is the Omega Glaze All Over Foil Illuminizer. So I'm gonna use this as kind of a bronzer. This is a little bit too dark for my skin tone to use as a um, highlighter. <gasps> Just good. So I'm gonna take, this is, I've got another big bronzing brush here. And like I said, I want this look to be very shimmery and golden and gorgeous. So we're gonna sort of place this over top of our bronzer. You see that? Oh my God. We're sort of placing this on our, like where you'd place your highlighter as well, but making sure that it's blended in with our bronzer. Can you guys see that? Okay, so for a little tiny bit extra highlighter, because like I said, I want this look to be crazy, I'm gonna take the Marc Jacobs Amiga Shadow in Primo. And this is an eyeshadow, but this is absolutely my favorite highlighter at the moment. So I'm just gonna place that kind of right on top of our gold there. So now we have this like really cool like gradient between the gold highlighter and the other one. Damn! Damn highlighter! Take that small little brush, 
place this underneath the brow bone and blend that nicely into our shadow there. And as this is too like shimmery for you, I am so sorry. You're gonna have to find another video to watch, but I'm obsessed. What I'm also gonna do with this is take a little bit and put this right in the middle there. Just a little bit extra. Oh. This is actually so glam, I'm so obsessed with it. Oh my god, I'm obsessed, holy shit. Okay. Oh my god. I am so bronzed, I'm so highlighted. I can barely even take it. Okay, let's do some lips. So we're gonna obviously use this new baby, Shine A Light. So I'm gonna find a lipstick to pair with that and then we're gonna put that over the top. Okay, so for our lips, I'm gonna take the Lamarck Lipstick li Liquid Lipstick in Slow Burn. I've only got my itty bitty baby one. I don't know what my regular one is. <laughs> Can I put this all over? Okay, now we're going to take a, a new holiday collection enamel lip gloss. This is called Shine A Light and place her right on top. So this is like a, um, doesn't actually go on, it kind of goes on gold, but it's more like just like a little, like flickers of gold. Okay, gorgeous. Okay, guys, and that is the finished look. I might do a little bit more mascara because we've got a bit of shadow on that one. See, aren't we loving this like glam that I'm into at the moment? So you can see that cheek there. That's the foil illuminizer mixed with the Omega shadow. And then we have our eyes. Which is how many colors? That's four out of the six colors in the new collection. I love and like no matte eye, just something that's completely shimmery. It's really pretty. And then of course we have our lips using the new enamel lip gloss. That's it, you guys. So I really hope you enjoyed that. Please, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. That's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!